They may look like your average American college students, but think again. Before Russia invaded Ukraine last year, many of these Ukrainian students, like Max Boblowski, were preparing to apply for college in the Ukraine. Max's dream was to become a doctor. I'm really into medicine. I'm, I can't imagine myself into diff, some different careers besides, besides this. Max knew he wanted to continue his education, but with the problems in Ukraine, he thought it would be nearly impossible. I heard it's possible to study in the United States, but it's so expensive and so difficult to manage, to manage in terms of the documents. But that's when his high school academic advisor told him about an opportunity to study in America for free at Duyuville University. It's even hard for me to imagine and fathom the degree of gratitude that I feel for them. Max is one of the 11 Ukrainian students who have been offered full ride scholarship at the university. Amelia Solovyovia is another one. I didn't think it would be true. Like it was sounded too good to be true. But it's true. The scholarship not only covers tuition, but also room and board. I would say that I'm so thankful. That's so nice. And they are wonderful people for doing this, for people like us who really needed this. And I don't know where I would be if not here, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere that's here. <laughs> Most of the students are pursuing degrees in health sciences, and many of them want to go back to the Ukraine once the war is over to help rebuild their country. Now, all of these scholarships are being paid by donors, alumni, and the university. And get this, they're going a little bit further. They're helping these students pay for medical copays, out-of-pocket costs like medicine, winter clothes, and meals when the cafeterias are closed. So think summer and winter time. And a set of these donors are also looking ways now are to raise even more money so that they can bring more Ukrainian students in the future. But for now, Melissa and Pete, back to you. That's a good neighbor stepping up there. Thanks very much.